Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's a beautiful Monday morning here in that? Austin, Texas. Uh, this is day 316 of the Three Plus Minutes of Blanks Challenge. And as always, I am filled with gratitude. Um, good morning to Lola Bean. Uh, we're getting ready for go to school. And uh, so uh, just working through some thoughts, getting these exercises done and making the day happen. Um, Thoughts on my mind today. I am um, I'm in the midst of reading a book called uh, "The Body Keeps Body Keeps the Score Keeps the Score," and it is a pretty amazing read. Um, it it really is telling about the things that we do, uh, the reasons why we do the things that we do, um, and how a lot of times our childhood traumas are the things. Um, that make us do the things we do. I guess that's the best way I can explain it. And um, what I find from reading this book is it allows me to really look at what um, happens specifically in my life that made me the way that I am and, and do the things that I do. And um, in reading that, I start to understand not only myself, um, but those around me. And um, a lot of times, us as human beings, we're just not aware of it. And um, for me, I liken it to the idea of um, the movie The Matrix with Neo and being able to see beyond the realm of just what we see in our present day and the actions that we take. Um, I had something that I used to do quite a bit. Um, when times got tough for me, I had a flight or fight response to everything. You know, um, I think um, it was the easiest way to manage life to me in my head. Um, but what I, I started to realize is it really wasn't helping me in a lot of ways. It was, I, I don't know if damage me is a strong word. I won't say it to that degree or to anyone because everyone is different, but I would say that it didn't allow me to grow in the spaces that I needed to grow. And so as I'm reading this book, it's a lot of what I talk about. It's the idea of being accountable for who I am and decision making that I make. And one of the things that's really interesting as I stated before is watching other people make decisions and the things that they do and you just become so much more aware of of the things that people do and how much fear and insecurities and traumas have an effect on our lives. And um, initially in the beginning of the process for me and my journey, I, I was finding that I was being judgmental in the process, attacking in the process, but something that I had to realize is like, wait a second, you were in those same spaces. People were looking at you in the same way. You know, um, how do you want to be, how, how do you want to be loved? How would you want it to be appreciated if you can't do those same things? You know, I think in moments when we're doing things of the source, we're almost being hypocrites. And so I'm learning more and more to be able to be able to be non-gentle, sorry, not non-judgmental, to be more empathetic to the positions and things that everyone are going through in their life. Because I believe that God has each of us on a journey to get to whatever space that we need to get to. And we all have our path there, some faster, some slower. So, uh, you know, um, it is an amazing read. Um, the Body Keeps the Score, an amazing, amazing read. I'm blessed um, to be reading it. Um, I just wanted to share. Anyway, be blessed today and every day. Talk to you soon. Peace.